Okay, it's on. It's August 18th, and we're here with Lunch with Dr. Jones today. I've got a few little books to mention. One is uh, right here in Austin, we have a wonderful restaurant called Casa de Luz, so you can eat macrobiotic food there all the time. This is a handy little book because it has all their sauces, so lots of times people go in and go, ooh, how do you make it? So today we're featuring Timo's uh, sauce out of Casa de Luz, and that's going to be put on top of your greens here, which is steamed kale, carrots, and some onion. And then we have a Melanie, I've just been to the Cushy Conference, so we're going to be uh, trying a, a recipe that Melanie Waxman had out of one of her books. Today's demonstration will be a pressed salad, which is already prepared right now for you guys to eat, but I'll demonstrate how it's made, which takes a little bit of uh, working with and then a little bit of time as it presses and it uh, uses the mix of salt and how I've massaged the, the uh, vegetables together. So it takes a little time. So we have a prepared one so you can eat, but then one that will be pressing actually as we just discuss things. And then down here we have apricot tea bread. We have version one and version two. So we're going to do a little taste test to help us all out with uh, a dessert menu that I'm putting together for a special um, function. And then we'll talk just a little bit about how to lick the sugar habit because I'll let you decide which one, version one or version two, is best for you. <laughs> mm -hmm. And then, I don't know, I threw in, you know, if we don't have, you know, just enough to talk about, this is a great little spiral that I'm learning a lot out of called The Macrobiotic Healing Secrets by Lino Stankich, a, speak, a speaker who was featured at the Kushi uh, conference this past two weeks ago. So let me just quickly demonstrate the pressed salad. And so what happens with pressed salad is it's a, you usually find a version of a cabbage. The cabbage is one of the obvious, you know, main ingredients for the, for the salad. And in this salad, I have cabbage, carrots, radish, a little bit of celery, and a little bit of green apple. But for the purpose of the demonstration, I, well, I wound up throwing a, the celery and the apple in there, but so I still can demonstrate. So your cabbage, you always want to try to give it a very, very fine slice. So the pieces are going to be very, very thin. And this is, they always tell me it's very important because you want the most amount of surface of the vegetable that can be, I guess, worked through with the, with the salt that's going to be added to this. And this is actually, even though you think it's raw, it's actually cooked. So this is a version of cooking food, and it's the use of salt, pressure, and time, not T-H-Y-M-E, but T-I-M-E. So we have our um, sliced cabbage there. And then I've already went ahead for the sake of time to uh, slice up and finally, or finally dice the carrot. And then we're also adding to that some radish. And there are variations of this uh, recipe that you can do. So just keep in mind that as you look through different recipe books, you can find that there are other things to add to it, like I added examples, celery and apples. So here we have our mix, and then what you're going to do is take a pinch of, let me grab a spoon real quick, a pinch of salt. And, you know, that's the thing. Uh, I've heard people say, well, this, can, this salad can turn out too salty, can be too, uh, too wet, whatever. You'll see in just a second that what you do is, my hands are clean, by the way, or I can wash them real quick, but you use your hands, and I know it seems like, oh, wow, but actually, using the hands, now what we're doing is getting the enzymes in the vegetables to make it a little bit more easily digestible. You probably have eaten raw cabbage before and found that it's not the easiest thing to digest, but it has great properties in it that help our digestion, but this is helping it you know, break down a little bit before we actually um, eat it. And so you're just going to massage it gently, and then after, in just a little bit, actually I should let you take a look at it right now, it's, it doesn't look that wet, right? I mean, it just kind of looks, it looks sort of wet, but in a, in a little bit, as I continue to massage it, it's actually going to start, the juices are going to start coming out, and the salt is reacting with the enzymes. And so if you've read anything about cabbage, um, it's very, very helpful. I've read actually a few things about it helping um, if people have uh, stomach ulcers and so forth. So it's very beneficial, but of course, just like anything else, it's important that you um, just do things in moderation, as always. And keep things buried, you know? So now, well, I should not step behind the table. So now you can actually see it's letting go of some of its, of its water. It gets a little bit more watery looking. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Isn't that crazy? It's crazy. Yeah. And 
And so I'm just going to massage it for about five minutes. And not crunching it down or anything, but just kind of massaging it a little bit longer. And then, we, and then you actually press it. So you take, you can take anything that's got a decent amount of weight behind it. You can take, some people fill a gallon jar of water. Um, and earlier when I had that pressing, I had a pretty big jar of, of water on top of it. And so let's say I've, I've, I could fill this with water and, um, and even put another, I don't know, some, some type of heavy pot uh, on top of it. But the idea is, the idea is you want some weight. Even heavier than this to sit on top of the salad like that, and then you're just going to press it for about 30 minutes, and then it's uh, ready to go. So today, on top of our pressed salad here, uh, we're going to serve up a little bit of pickled beet. And what I did there was just used a, uh, a peeler, and then yesterday I put a little bit of salt on it, and then you rinse it, and then you put a little vinegar, and it sits overnight. A quick pickle on top of the the uh, the slaw or a pressed salad, which I think is all very useful for digestion. All right, let's enjoy. Woohoo! I'm just going to look oh, at the menu here for us. Shut off. Don't do it this way. 